Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tanae, and this is Green on Beauty. In today's video, we're going to be doing another declutter. We're going to be decluttering lip products, liquid lipsticks, and lip bullets. I'm doing this intro as a voiceover. I had an intro filmed, but the video got all messed up, so I decided it would just be easier just to do it as a voiceover. Disclaimer, I do have some Jeffree Star Cosmetics and some Shane Dawson liquid lipsticks in this collection and declutter. It's at the very beginning of the video. I will put a timestamp here. Just in case you don't want to watch that part and you want to skip it, then you can be free to do that. I also realized while I was editing my footage that I forgot to add the Sophia Nagard ColourPop collection. I think I'm saying her name right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop a picture in here right now. I kept every single one in the collection, but I just wanted you guys to see what they look like. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into the declutter. All right, so we're doing something different here as far as filming with my liquid lipstick declutter. I wanted these to be close up. And like I said, I film my phone. I don't have a monitor, so there's no way for me to film overhead for you guys to see it that way. I actually remember that I had a little tripod in here. It's a little tabletop tripod that my seven-year-old got me for Mother's Day earlier in the year. And I thought this might be good to use for this type of declutter video. Let me know what you guys think of this setup. And in the future, when I'm doing like smaller products like this, I might go ahead and use the setup again for declutters. All right, let's go ahead and start with the elephant in the room. These are all the Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Shane Dawson ones that I have. There are 24 here. This one is soft serve. It's kind of a really super bright pinky nude. This one I am definitely going to get rid of. I was This one was given to me like in a secret Santa gift. I have never used that one. It is just way too bright for me. This one is cherry wet. This one is a pinky shade except it's very thin. I don't even know how to explain it. Whereas some of the other pinks are more smooth. This one is just really thick and doesn't go on very smooth. I'm not particularly fond of this one. So this one is going to come out. This one is wifey. This is kind of a deep, rich, brownish kind of a red shade. This one I really do like. This one goes on really smooth. I'm going to be keeping this one. This one is 818. This is a really bright, pinky, kind of a cantaloupe shade. Another one of those really super bright shades that just does not look good on me at all. This one is going to be decluttered. This one is red rum. This one is a super bright red. Oh my word. I actually, I do love this one. It's a really pretty pigmented red shade going to keep this one. I actually have a mini of this one too right here. This was part of that Morphe collaboration. He did a little mini. He did a nude and he did the red. And basically these were just minis of shades he already had in his own brand. I'm going to keep this one too. This one is actually good for travel so we're going to keep that one. This one is Rose Matter. This is a really pretty light pink. When I actually saw this one online I thought it was a coral. I didn't realize that it was a pink so it was a little bit disappointed by that but it really is a pretty pink so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one this one is Calabasas this is kind of a mauvey pink this is one of my absolute favorite shades in the collection there is no doubt I am definitely going to be keeping this one too this one just has the question mark on it this was the mystery shade I think this was the summer boxes last summer this was the mystery shade that came in it this is actually a really pretty nude let me see if you can see that See, it's a really pretty nude. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. That's one of the few nudes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics that I can use. Most of them are way too bright, way too pasty on me, and just do not look good. This one is Ho Ho Ho. This was from the Holiday Collection last year. This is a really pretty reddish shade. It has just a tiny bit of sparkle. It's a really pretty holiday shade. It makes me so sad that, you know, Jeffrey just could not get his stuff together because he does have a really beautiful formula and it just makes me so sad to not be able to purchase from him, from him anymore, but it is what it is. This one is Checkmate. This is a pure orange shade. This is one of my absolute favorites. I haven't found a shade like this in other brands yet. I'm still looking, but as you can see, that is a pure rich orange shade. Keeping that one. This one I'm going to be getting rid of. I can't even read that name, but this is a really, this may be watermelon soda, which is this bright reddish pinky shade. I do not like this one. This one goes on thick and cakey and 
I used to, oh my god, that one is awful. This one is prom night. This one is one of my favorite pinks. I used to be afraid of bright pinks and then I got his, the uh, mini red and pink kit and it had a little miniature prom night. This is actually almost empty. Pretty soon this will go into my empties. But I gave it a try. As you can see, this is a super bright pink. I was so afraid of the shade, but when I actually wore it, it looks so good against my skin tone. Ever since then, I'm just no longer afraid of bright pinks. So we're going to keep this one. This one is Anna Nicole. It's another orangey shade. I wonder what's going on right now. They have the uh, the Anna Nicole estate. I know was suing Jeffree Star because they were saying that he didn't have the rights to the name. He just called the Anna Nicole, not Anna Nicole Smith. So I don't really know what the legalities are where that's concerned, but this is another beautiful orangey shade. It's just a little bit lighter than Checkmate. This one is fully nude. Hmm. Do I want? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This is another nude. That's just a really, really pretty one. Like I said, with most of Jeffree Star cosmetic nudes, I cannot wear them. They just do not look good on me. Now we're getting into the Shane Dawson ones. Actually, before that, I do have a few more minis here. This one is Unicorn Blood. This is actually a miniature. I think I have a full Unicorn Blood over there. This is a miniature from that Morphe collection. Keeping that one. And then these two are the ones that I have left from the mini pink and red kit. All the rest of them I have used. This one is a miniature of red rum and this one is a miniature of unicorn blood. I have a lot of these. Now we have the Shane Dawson Collaboration Collection. I'll be honest, when I bought these, I wasn't really so much interested in the lipsticks as I was the big pink pig box at game and that's really what I wanted. But there are a couple of shades in here that are really nice. The rest of them are definitely going to go. This one is Ryland. It's like a metallic-y pink. I have never used this one in my life. You see how like just super bright that is? I do not like that at all. That one is going to come out. This one is also going to come out. This is called Oh My God. I mean you can't even really even see that. It's just bright Pepto-Bismol pink and that is exactly what it looks like on. It literally looks like Pepto Pepto-Bismol. I do not like this one at all. That one is god awful. Definitely going to take that one out. I'm also going to pull this one out. This one is called I Gotta Go. This one is a gold shade. It's not awful, but I just have never had a reason to use gold, you know, lip products. I mean, if this were like a liquid eyeshadow, that would be pretty. But as a lip product, I'm never going to use that. So I'm going to take this one out too. And the last one from this collection I'm going to pull out is this one. This one is called Shane. This is, this one looks like a coppery poopy kind of a shade. I do not like this one at all. Like, oh my God. See that? It's like a gold copper poop kind of a shade. I have never used that one. I will never use that one. These two, however, I am keeping. This one is Are You Filming? This is another beautiful red shade. Anna Nicole is in between this one and Checkmate. It's just a really beautiful, rich red orange shade. And then this one is Jeffrey Wathy. I'm not going to say that word, but this is a really another beautiful pink. This one kind of reminds me of Prom Night, but it's a little bit more fuchsia in tone. Just beautiful. I'm definitely going to keep that one too. I missed one from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This one is Weirdo. This is the black shade. I don't need to swatch that one, but I'm going to be keeping this one only because I do not have another black lipstick. If I get another black lipstick in another brand, then I will let this one go. But this one actually works as an eyeliner too. So now I'm going to do all the ones that are K-Beauty related. Some of them came out of No Make No Life boxes. Other ones I bought to try out. These four are Lily by Red. This one came in a little set. It actually came in a 10. It was so super cute. I ended up giving the 10 to my daughter because I didn't really have a need to keep it. But these are basically a gel lip tint and they're so beautiful. They smell like you know those gummy peach rings? That is what these smell like. These are so smooth and beautiful. That's the peachy nude kind of a shade. This one is a coral kind of a tone. This one is more of a burnt orangey red. So beautiful. And then this one, if they are so comfortable and feel so good on the lips, I'm definitely going to be keeping these, not to mention the fact it's kind of a purpley burgundy shade. These do not dry down. Their little portable size means that they're good for traveling or just toss them in my purse. These two I am not going to swatch. This one is from Holika Holika. It is a beautiful red 
heart-shaped shade. Oh my god, this is one of my absolute beautiful formulas. I have been meaning to pick up some more of these. Normally I'm not really into bullet lipsticks, but this particular formula is gorgeous. This one is 16 brand. By the way, the Holika Holika one and this one, these came out of No Make No Life boxes. This one smells like Starburst and it actually has a point, kind of like a crayon. This is another beautiful reddish matte shade, so I'm keeping that one. These two are like liquid lip tints. I think this one came out of a No Make No Life box. I'm not sure, but it's based basically just a liquid red tint. This one is the, pretty much the same thing. They're just different brands. This one is called the Soft Matte Lip Cream by Malibu Glitz. This one I ordered off of AOA. Same basic formula as this one. I think I'm going to keep the bigger one and then declutter the smaller one. These two are from Trixie Mattel. These are absolutely gorgeous. This one is Bobble. It's a really beautiful, corally, just pure matte shade. This one is Stay Stacy's mom and this one is a hot pink matte. I mean, as you can see, these are pure straight mattes. Beautiful formula. The packaging is everything. These two are from CYO. I'm pretty sure that these have been discontinued. This one is called Cherry Nights and then this one is called Flush of Blush. I'm going to be decluttering both of these. They're very patchy. They're not very pigmented. I just, I do not like the way the formula is at all. I picked these up from Walgreens on a last chance sale. I thought I would give them a chance, but I do not like the formulas, like I said. And like I said, I'm pretty sure these are discontinued, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of these. I have two from Juvia's Place. This particular formula I think they have discontinued. I no longer see it on there. I know they have the nudes and like a new gloss formula or something, but I'm pretty sure this particular formula has been discontinued, which makes me very sad because a few of the shades are really good. This one, Mina, this one I'm going to declutter. This one is very patchy. It does not go on smooth at all. No matter how hard I tried, I could not, I mean, as you can see right there, how patchy that is. No matter how hard I tried, I could not get this one to go on smooth and opaque and pigmented. This one, however, this one is a freak. I hate that they have discontinued this form because this particular one is beautiful. This is a gorgeous, rich red tone. Oh my God. I hate that they have discontinued it. This particular shade, gorgeous. I am keeping this one. I had to take a break, run downstairs and throw dinner in the oven, but let's go ahead and continue. We're going to do CoverGirl and Maybelline now. I have six from CoverGirl. All of these, well, these four are the full spectrum ones. I absolutely love this particular formula. This one is Tyrant. Beautiful, gorgeous red shade. Just absolutely beautiful form. You definitely keep that one. I'm keeping all of these. I'm just showing them to you. This one is Gaines. This one is a really pretty kind of a corally pink there. This one is Status Prestige. This one is a bright coral and oh my god I absolutely love that one. These are just really comfortable. They dry down but they don't get all cracky and stuff. They don't dry out your lips. Like I said they just feel really comfortable on. This one is a beautiful deep peachy nude. All four of these definitely keeping. I'm also keeping these two as well. These are the Melting Pot Finals. This one is in Vibrant Thing. These are just kind of like a glossy formula. Normally I don't like a formula like this, but these I keep for costuming reasons. You guys know I'm a cosplayer, a costumer. Like this one is blue. This shade is below deck. Obviously for everyday wear, I'm not going to be wearing a blue lipstick. But like I said, I'm keeping this specifically for costuming reasons. I can use this when I'm doing blue icy looks. And I think I'm going to do a blue ice princess look and actually use this shade. So that one might be coming. These two are from Maybelline. I'm really sad because I discovered that Maybelline is not cruelty free. I didn't find that out till I got these. That makes me sad because this is an amazing formula. I'm not going to swatch these. If I do, they are not going to come off. These do not move. You put these on, they're very comfortable, very, very pigmented, and they literally last all day long through eating and drinking. I'm going to keep these two for the same reason, costuming. If I need to, these will actually last all day long. That one, I can't even read the shade, but that's like a pinky toned. I can't read this one either. This one is Ground Breaker, Ground Breaker, which is kind of a 
burnt British kind of an orange shade. But I'm keeping these simply for costuming, but you know, they're not cruelty free, so I can't buy any more. These are the NYX matte lip creams. These are actually the ones that are part of the Sabrina Netflix collection. As you can see, they have those little hearts in them, which is part of this particular branding packaging. Unfortunately, this is limited edition, so they do not make these anymore. But I'm pretty sure that you can find these in the matte lip cream formula that are already existing shades that are similar to these. Uh, I'm not too worried about that one. This one, this one is called Cabo. I think I'm going to go on ahead and declutter this one. It is a really, really light. Yeah, I don't think I really realized how, how light that one is. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. This one is Monte Carlo. This is a beautiful, rich, deep, pigmented red. Oh my word, so gorgeous. The lip cream formula is another one that's really, really comfortable. This one is Cans. I actually like this one more than the lip suede formula. The lip suede formula was a little too drying for me. These I actually like more. I think these are beautiful. That's a gorgeous nude shade. And then this one is Budapest. This is a beautiful burgundy wine kind of a shade. Oh my word, that is so absolutely gorgeous. These are the Cashmere Lip Creams from BH Cosmetics. This was actually the Mistletoe Trio that was part of the holiday collection that came with that Naughty Palette. These three I've already swatched in that video where I did a first impressions of the Naughty Palette. I'll drop a card in here somewhere in case you want to check those out. I can't read the, the shade names. They're like so small. But this one is a really pretty kind of a wine purple shade. This one's a really beautiful red toned. And then this one is a nude shade. These do not dry down, but they're extremely comfortable. They feel really, really nice on the lips. Now some random lip products here or products where I only have one of in that particular brand. And some of these came out of BoxyCharm boxes. This one is from e.l.f. This is the satin liquid, I mean the satin lipstick. This one is in pepper. This is actually a really beautiful red. You guys know how I feel about bullets, but this one is so smooth, so pigmented, so comfortable, and it actually, and it's very, very long wearing. It lasts all day. I'm going to keep that one. This one is from Flower Beauty. This is the Velvet Lip Chubby lip suede. I'm not sure which shade this is, but it's a really pretty kind of a peppery red kind of a shade. This is very comfortable, but I, I picked this up as part of a video that I was trying out some new makeup. I actually got this one from the Dollar Tree. I don't think I'm going to keep this one. I know that I'm not going to use it again, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that one out. This one is from Ola Neon. This is called the Easy Sell. This one came out of a BoxyCharm box. This is actually a really pretty kind of a, I don't know how to explain it, nudie brownie orange shade. It's very, very pretty and the, the formula is very comfortable. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is from Essence. It's the Color Boost Mad About Matte Liquid Lipstick. This shade is funky. This is actually a pretty good dupe shade for the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Prom Night. I wish they made more. They do have more shades in this, but none of them are shades that I would really you know, gravitate towards or use. I wish they had more vibrant tones of this. The only other shade that's vibrant would be the red shade. The rest of them are more kind of a nude side. But I would love to see more shades of this one. This is a beautiful formula. This one is from AOA Studios. I got this off a of shop in SA. It is the Wonder Matte. This one is in Famous. This is a beautiful orangey tone. Oh my word. I absolutely love this one. It's a pretty comfortable long wear formula. Smells really good. And this shade, this particular one was only a dollar. I'm going to be keeping this one. This one is from Clarence. This one's called the Velvet Lip Perfector. This one actually came out of a boxy charm box. I am going to declutter this one. The formula is decent, but as you can see, this is a super pale nude. Does not work for me. This one is from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is a matte lipstick. I don't see Lust, I think is the name. This one came out of a box charm box. You push it on the bottom. I mean, you push the top, excuse me, and it comes out on the bottom. As you can see, it has these really pretty, like glittery flecks on the outside. When you put it on your lips, the glitter just like melts away. You don't end up like glitter all over your lips. This is not a shade that I would normally wear, but the packaging is absolutely beautiful and everything. That's why I'm going to keep this. This actually will, looks really pretty on my vanity or on my shelves, just to be displayed, so keeping it for that reason. This one is from Buxom. This is called Dare Me. This is 
the Lip Pout Shiny Lipstick, I think that's what it's called. This one is a beautiful shade. Normally, I am not into shiny liquid lipsticks. I actually bought this one as part of a try and make it from TJ Maxx, and it is a really beautiful formula. It makes your lips look full and juicy without looking like just too shiny or over glossy. The formula is absolutely beautiful. This one is from Flower Beauty. This is actually a lip balm. I'm going to be taking this one out. I don't really do balms, but even if I did, this formula is just not very good. It's kind of thick. It's not very hydrating. It kind of feels like you're putting really thick Vaseline on your lips and not in a good way. So I'm going to pull that one out. This one is from the balm. This is the Meet Your Matte Hues. This shade is an honest. This is a really beautiful orangey coral shade. It is so beautiful and it smells like peppermint chocolate like Andes. Oh my god, it is such a beautiful formula. So comfortable, lasts all day, does not crack and dry your lips. These are all the ones I have from LA Colors. After this, all I have are the ones from ColourPop and then we are going to be finished. These are the Pout Lip Gloss Matte. I don't know where they get the gloss from. There is nothing lip glossy about these. These are just a straight matte liquid lipstick, but the formula is really beautiful and it's pretty long wearing. I got these as part of my budget friendly full face of LA Colors. I'll drop a card in this video. That was actually the first video for Uyamas that I did. This is a beautiful wine burgundy purple shade. And the formula is very smooth. It lasts all day. By the way, every single one of these was a dollar. I got these off of Shop Miss A. This shade is called Canoodle, by the way. And this one is called Lusty. Lusty is a red shade. I have not opened this one yet. I'm not going to open it and keep it in the packaging for now. Yeah, but if this formula is anything like this one, I'm sure I'm going to love it. These three are the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. I got these from the Dollar Tree. There was one more shade, but I actually emptied that one. That one will be in an empties video. This one is called Rhapsody. Another beautiful purpley kind of shade. These are very comfortable, very creamy, very long wearing. For a dollar, oh my god, they are amazing. This shade is in Silky. This is a kind of a pinky mauve kind of a tone. So beautiful. This shade is called Souffle. This one is a nudie peachy shade. This one is so beautiful just for when you're in those natural peachy kind of days. Definitely keeping that one. And I actually did have the fourth one. I thought that I'd emptied it. This one is whipped. It was actually in my basket when I did the first look for the BH Cosmetics video. I was thinking to myself, I didn't think I used it up. I'm doing so many videos and doing so much sometimes I forget. But as you can see, another beautiful orange. I love orange tones. This is just a gorgeous shade. My arm is stained like pinkish red from all the swatches that I've been doing. But these are the ones from the Sailor Moon collection. Two of these are the ultra glossy lip. The other two are the ultra blotted lip. Now I do not wear glosses, but of course I got these collections because they're Sailor Moon. The packaging, first of all, it is absolutely beautiful. The moons, the gold band there with the moons. This shade is called Sailor Moon. This is kind of an orangey gloss. One thing about these I do not like is the tip. It is so hard. I don't understand why it doesn't have a doe foot on it like the Lux lip glosses. If it did, these would be so nice. The formula is actually pretty good. I went ahead and I tried them when I did my Sailor Moon video and I actually liked it, I have to admit. This shade is Moon Tiara. It's pretty orangey too, but it's lighter. The one thing that I would say about this collection is that, see these two, very similar to each other. These two, very similar to each other. I would have rather they have done like an orange and a pink as opposed to both of these pretty much being pink. I don't know why they did that, but this one is Bunhead. This one is a lighter pinky, peachy kind of a nude, very pretty. And this one is Usagi. This is very similar to Bunhead, but it's just a little bit deeper. You see that? They are so similar to each other. I don't know why they made these two collections with the shades so close together. They, they, you know, they could, like I said, they could have done four completely different shades, but you know, it is what it is. These three are from the Milan collaboration. You have a Lux lip gloss, a Lux liquid lip, and then you have a bullet lipstick. I have not used this gloss. I'm never going to, but it's a really pretty gold. I only got this for the packaging. Mulan is my absolute favorite Disney princess of life, which is why I picked this up. Oh my god, that smells so good. It smells like a cookie. Ooh, 
That is so nice. But yeah, I got this for the packaging. I'm never really probably ever going to actually use it on my lips. This one is called Phoenix. The gloss is How Mulan. This is the bullet lipstick. Once again, packaging on point. Absolutely beautiful. This one is kind of a brownish red shade. It's very similar to the blushes. I haven't used this one yet, mainly because I don't want to ruin that beautiful imprint on the end of it. Eventually, I'll use it, but for now, it's just really pretty on my vanity. This one I have used. This is Strong Chi. This is the Lux liquid lip this is an absolutely beautiful formula it's so creamy pigmented smooth this one does not dry down but it's very comfortable and it is very long wearing i do love this one and we are down to the end these are the three from the ColourPop hocus pocus collaboration these three are bullet lipsticks all three of these are red as you can see but to me they're different enough in tone that i don't feel like it's unnecessary to have had all three each one is named after a sister this one is named after sarah this one is a wine red this one is winnie this one is kind of a orangey red so you can see it's definitely different from sarah see that and then this one is mary mary is like a true red so as you can see in the swatches the tones are different these two are similar but this one's a lot more red and that is the end of the clutter let's go ahead and do a quick count so we can see how many we decided to keep and how many we decided to declutter and that would be the end of the video so we started out with 80 and we are keeping 70 and we're decluttering 16. So yeah, not the best to clutter. We're still keeping a lot, but who knows? Maybe throughout the year, I may go ahead and declutter some more, but that is the end of this video. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit subscribe. If you like this kind of videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified of any videos that may be coming up in the future, just be sure to tap the notification bell down below. You'll be notified each and every time. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.